What is up everybody? Welcome back to the garage. Today we are going to be working on the M3 some more. Merry Christmas because this video should be coming out on Christmas Eve. Um, but today, man, I gotta figure out this lighting here. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad, but we're gonna go ahead and get into partially getting the dashboard out, but right now we're going to focus solely on the radio. We are going to be doing the radio, the HVAC, um, sunglasses holder, heated seat. The heated seat thing is going to stay in because it has the traction control disable, so I need to keep that in the car, but it's going to come out anyway in this so that we can get the dashboard out in a future video. Um, but I figured the radio coming out of the car was worthy enough video itself because there's a lot of people who want to upgrade their radios, so there's a demand for people who want to know how to pull out the radio and the HVAC because there's also the HVAC relocate, which I might be doing this winter as well because I am going to keep the HVAC because I'm keeping heat. As much as I'm going to run out the AC, I'm going to keep the heat so that I can pull more heat out of the car through the heater core if I need to. So in the process of removing the radio, we have to get rid of these two trim pieces right here because they're both separate from each other. Uh, the radio, if you're going to be replacing the radio with a single DIN radio, you just take out the radio. If it's going to be a double DIN, you're going to have to do the HVAC relocation, which is what I'm going to be doing, but not in this video. I'm going to take this and you're going to put it down here. And there's actually something I did do to this car which I'm very happy I did, I installed an auxiliary. So if you're going to install an auxiliary, which you can only do in the 2003 and newer E46 models, I'll show you how to do that as well in this video. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is remove these trim pieces. They're a little tricky. I have my favorite tool in the world, which is the skin wedge. It's used for pulling aluminum siding off of airplanes, um, but it's also really helpful in automotive. I'm not actually going to use that on this because I would rather use an actual trim tool. Now this one is going to have to come off first. Now before I forget, because it's something I'm going to be doing, if you are going to take out the radio forever, make sure you get your CDs out. Good CD. Alrighty, now I can pull out the radio. It's just two Phillips head screwdrivers. So here's the radio out real quick, and this is your connector where the power goes into. There's a fuse there if it ever blows, uh, and then you have two connectors here. One of them is for the um, CD changer, and the other one is for the auxiliary, which as you can see, maybe it's a little bit out of focus. Let me focus that for you. This is the uh, connector I wired up for my auxiliary port that I installed in the car when I first got it. All right, and while we're here, this is the... AC module. Um, it's just clipped in with some plastic or metal clips on each side there and there. No screws need to be undone with this. So you just grab it from behind. There's two spots you can grab it and you can try and pry it out. It'll make a loud noise and kick all the dust that was on the racetrack back into your face. You know, remind you of all the times that you spun out there. Um, and then it's just a few connectors back here. There you have it, your ACs are ready to get relocated or just completely removed, depending on how you're gonna do it. Coming out from the AC unit, this is where your new AC controls are gonna go if you're doing the relocation to do the doubled in. Um, and this is where my AC controls are gonna go. This is the sunglasses holder. My door here is broken, it doesn't go down anymore. It stopped working, I don't know what happened. Um, but this also just so happens to be where my auxiliary is coming out. It plugs in back there, by the way, if you are doing the auxiliary upgrade, I thought that would be a great space for it. I could plug it in, I could tuck the wire in there if I wanted to. If you ever need to unplug this and plug it back in, it's terrible location. So I would not recommend putting it back there, but do what you want. So this is also just pressure held in. As you can see, here is all my length for that auxiliary cord that I had running into the back of this. Which I'll pull that out of the car as well. Now with those taken care of, this actually does need to come out for the dashboard. Um, 
that's just two Phillips heads, right? Two? Only two, yep, there's only two Phillips heads in here uh, that hold down this control here. opens up some screws here and here which you can barely see because of my lighting thank you uh, winter but they're there and then there's two up there and that allows this whole assembly to come out those screws out this whole assembly right here should be pretty simple there you go simple just sounds like it's breaking don't worry if it sounds like it's breaking that means you're doing it right that's how all cars work right there we go just get a little bit unstuck there at the bottom and there we go the whole thing hopefully I don't have to do anything with my shifter knob here it's back as far as it's gonna go there we go. There we go. Beautiful. And then there's just one or two connectors back here. It's just two uh, clips on either side of this guy, the brown one and the black one over there. Uh, and that guy comes out. It does indeed look like it's blocked by this upper one, but I think I can just convince those cables out of the way for a second. Okay, so that one's out. And then this black one, it's just pressure fitted in there, so that comes out. And then we're going to move on to these ones right here at the at the uh, cigarette lighter. you got a tiny little one right there. I think that's for the light. It illuminates your ashtray. And then you got your negative. And then you got your positive on here. Both of which are just pressure fitted. And then this whole assembly is out. So there you have it. Radio out of the car. I know a lot of my viewers aren't actually racers like I am. They don't intend to gut their car completely and make it as uncomfortable as possible for the sake of performance. I know a lot of the people who watch these videos are DIYers who are going to upgrade their cars or people who are still going to street their cars and they're just changing out a few things including upgrading the radio which is a pretty common upgrade especially in older cars like this. As well as if they're going to upgrade to an auxiliary which this was super handy. I was super happy to have this in the car for the time that I did have it. But I'm going to be gutting the whole car. The radio's coming out because the dashboard is coming out, which that of course should be coming up here very shortly in another video. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be relocating the AC controls to the lower position, hopefully. I actually haven't looked too much into that, um, but that is the intention because I want to just blank out that slot up there, maybe some gauges and some buttons in the spot that the old radio used to be. But I do want to keep the AC controls because the heater is still going to be in the car uh, and the heater core will be able to pull more heat away from the vehicle. I'm also probably going to reroute uh, my heating pipes in the car so that they're all coming to the passenger side instead of blowing in my face. Anyway guys, I think that just about wraps it up for this video. Uh, once again, Merry Christmas because this is coming out on Christmas Eve. So I hope you guys all have a happy holidays if you guys don't celebrate Christmas. Um, and then hopefully, it'll probably be next week that the dashboard will be coming out of the car. I do have to remove the steering wheel to do that. I'm not looking forward to that at all, um, mainly because I hate removing steering wheels. Um, but it's going to have to happen. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video, and you have a good one.